Hello, I'm Adam Barrowley and welcome to this Crystal Connections video where we're exploring the crystal of bronzite. Now when we look at bronzite, it's a bit of a dull crystal, it's brown. And brown isn't the most enthralling colour, but it brings in some really important qualities. Often we need to just get back to basics and bronzite really, really helps us to do that. This is a crystal that helps us with kindness, respect and manners. And aren't those really beautiful uh, traits? that sometimes get forgotten in this one world, well, bronzite brings us back to just being a little bit more polite and trying to ease the people around us this day in whatever we can. It also helps us get really back down to basics and realize what is important. It allows us to see things that are in our life that aren't serving us anymore and respectfully remove them without being rude as well. So if you need to get back to basics, if you need a bit of grounding, then bronzite's an amazing crystal for you. And in this video, I'm gonna explore some different ways that you can work with this crystal to help you thrive by going back to basics. Bronzite is a crystal of social success. It allows you to feel really comfortable and grounded in any situation. It's really great for helping us to remember your manners and to respect every other human being and treat them as you'd like to be treated. You know, in this world where sometimes we can be a little bit judgmental or treat other people that are different to us in a different way, Bronzite reminds us that we are all human to bring back those manners and that politeness. Now, this is a great one to carry or wear with you when you're going to be in any social situation. It's amazing for a first date to make sure that, you know, you put your best foot forward and that chivalry kind of comes through in that type of way. Now, if you've got a family and it tends to be a bit of an unruly time at the dinner table, a bit of bronzite on the table helps everyone to remember their manners. Or if you're going to a bit of a fancy or a formal event and you're not too sure about the etiquette, take some bronzite just to help you feel a bit more grounded and comfortable and to make sure you don't step out of line in any way. So whenever you need to feel grounded and in control in any social situation and make sure that you put your best foot forward, show the best version of yourself and consider people around you, bronzite is an amazing crystal to have nearby. Greek philosophers believe that it was more important what you did than what you knew. And being generous and kind isn't just great for the recipient, it can be really great for you as well. Have you noticed if you're feeling low or maybe a bit of low self-worth, if you can do something great for someone else, help someone out, a little favour or a little you know, random act of kindness, how that really turns their day around, but also makes you feel worthy and that you've contributed in that type of way. A little task in do with bronzite is get a little piece of bronzite, probably smaller than this, just a little tumble to stone will be fine, and place it in your pocket. And then set a challenge that each day tally up how many acts of kindness can you make. Tally them up for the total week and see what your grand total is and then see if you can beat it the next week. Being more and more of, of service to people and contributing to the world. This will make you a more valuable person in the world as well. Now this is a really great crystal when you're dating. Often when we're trying to date, or when we are trying to impress someone, we focus on trying to show off and show them how great we are. However, remember that people make, will remember more how you make them feel rather than what you actually do. So it doesn't matter if you've got a fancy car and you've got all this money or you've got all this intelligence, if you make someone feel like rubbish, they're not gonna care about you. They remember what touches the heart. And this is where bronzite can really help you to focus on being aware of other people and what they need, being of service rather than being of show. And so if you want to impress someone, whether it be a new potential partner or whether it be someone at work or just people in general, how can we be of service? Bronzite will help you to do that, to shift your focus from being of service and rather than being a big fat show off. Being a brown crystal and very grounding, bronzite helps you eliminate indecisiveness and doubt. So it really helps you to make different decisions. Now, if you are stuck between some different decisions, then what I'd recommend is sit quietly with a bit of bronzite and consider some different questions like these three. First of all, if you're trying to decide between a couple of options, which one will I regret more if I don't do? Rather than which one should I do, which one would I regret if I didn't do more? Consider that. Another question to consider is, in this situation, what would a wise person do? Now you may have this idea of who a wise person is, you may even know who wise people are in this world. Some people like to ask things like, what would Jesus do? What would nature do? You know, what would Madonna do? Whoever, you know, what would my dad do? What would mum do if they're still around? All those different types of ideas, consider that as well. 
And the third question to consider is which one is going to serve the greater good, which will not just be beneficial to you, but remember what Bronzite teaches us, how can I be of service and help more people? Which decision would be greater? Now, when you're asking these questions, don't try and think too much. Remember that this is the grounding crystal and it just helps you drop into your body. Think about, as you're pondering these questions, the emotional responses. And often how we feel emotionally, that can be a guidance system from our soul. So if you're considering two different options, maybe go to a party or stay home, and you think about going to a party and you get this whole worry about doubt and, oh, you know, there's, you know, I might miss out, but oh, I don't know what to wear and all that type of thing. And then you go, oh, but I could stay home. Ah, I feel relaxed about that. And, you know, I don't feel stressed and it might be nice to pair myself. Maybe the choice is to stay home. Does that make sense? I hope that example kind of helped out in that type of way. So listen to the emotional guidance system, ask those questions with bronzite, and you'll find that doubt and indecisiveness that keeps coming up, whether it be one time or over and over again, this crystal will really help you to get through that. When you've been working with bronzite a lot, or you've just got a brand new piece and you want to bring its energy back to, you know, a natural balance, it's a really great idea to cleanse it. Now, I love using different elements of nature to cleanse my crystals, and bronzite resonates with the element of earth. So leaving it on the earth or even burying it in the earth is a really great way to bring it back. Leave it there overnight and it will come back and feel really nice and grounding and strong and resilient. Now, you can also bring other gifts in from the other kingdoms to support your work with the mineral kingdom. So from the plant kingdom, I love working with strawberries. Now, strawberries, you can eat them, you can get strawberry tea, you can get strawberry incenses. Um, you know, probably not any of those strawberry fragrances because they're normally not from the actual fruit and they're probably going to be more toxic than actual good for you. But anything from a true strawberry will really help to bring in that energy of love. Now, we've been talking about kindness and compassion and being of service. And strawberries really help you to emanate that energy of love and so pair really well with bronzer. Now, you can also take wisdom and energy from the animal kingdom. And the animal that comes to mind when I think of bronzite is the seahorse. Seahorses have this energy of kindness, compassion, and one key word that often comes up with, uh, with seahorse is nobility, or being quite regal, graceful, and able to give more. You know, it's not about how much wealth you acquire, it's about how much wealth you share with the world. And bronzite and seahorse will really help you to do those two things in unison. Now, because this resonates with the planet uh, Venus, Venus rules Friday, so Friday is your power day, the best day to do any major workings with your bronzite. One particular thing, this can make a really good elixir, so pop a bit of bronzite in water and drink that each Friday. Uh, it can be a really great way to bring the energies we've been talking about into your life. This can be really amazing, especially if you're working in a hotel or any kind of service, so that you can show that kindness and service to a greater level. Now, bronzite, as I said before, not the most spectacular looking crystal, but I think it's got a really nice kind of area of our lives that we need to remember. Kindness, manners, and compassion. Have you worked with bronzite? I'd love to hear about your experiences. Leave a comment in the section below. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. I'm Adam Barrelay. Blessed be.